How's it going, everybody? It's Charlie once again, and welcome back to the Charlie's YouTube channel where Leeds United have done the unthinkable and have thrashed Chelsea 3-0 at Ellen Road. I'll be honest, I'm I'm still in shock. It's still not sunk in. My voice has only just managed to come back. Ellen Road was absolutely bouncing. And for me, that's one of the best performances I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, but just before we get into it properly, as always, smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're brand new. Share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I'm sure there'll be some good ones. And we'll get into it then. So, firstly, actually, I just want to say what Thomas Tuchel said after the game, where he said that apparently in his own messed up little head, he thought that Chelsea were actually better than us in the first 20 minutes and that we only went 2-0 up at half-time because they gifted us two presents. What a sad, bitter, delusional bloke that man really is. I mean, come on. You know, just... Be gracious in defeat and just admit that your team have just been outplayed by Leeds United. I'll be honest, going into this game, I was very nervous. Very nervous, I thought, especially out wide with Reese James, Kukurea, you know, Sterling, Havertz, Mount. I just thought, based on our defensive display so far in the in the previous two games. I just expected Chelsea to have a lot of joy in this game. Um, I didn't think we would get hammered, but I, I did expect a Chelsea win. But from minute one, you could just tell who wanted it more. We were more up for it. We were more determined. We were very, very focused. I said in my preview that we had to be switched on. We had to be alert at all times. I think we were. I don't think there was a Leeds player out there today, including the subs who I would say was bad. I think everybody was outstanding today. Outstanding. You know, let's not be around the bush here. Chelsea are a top, top side and they will probably go on and have a good season. But for us to do what we did to them today, we embarrassed them. Let's be real here. They were, they were arguing amongst themselves. Thiago Silva and um, Reese James both arguing with each other in the first half at 0-0. And that's kind of where it, it started to go wrong for them. I felt, not that I agreed with Tuchel, but I thought the game was a bit... I still felt we were the better team from the get-go. But I feel like Chelsea were having the odd decent attack. Yes, it wasn't leading to much. But I felt that they would maybe grow into it. But then, obviously, where I stand in South Stand, obviously, the Chelsea's back line was right in front of us. And you could see Silver and Reese James arguing. And I noticed that from that point, the crowd picked up on it. The Leeds players picked up on it. We started targeting that side. And I feel like Harrison was getting a lot of joy. Jack Harrison, by the way. Enough said. Um yeah, it was having oh, quite a lot of joy. Um, and it felt like only um, a matter of time until he'd scored. And, you know, the, the first goal is just comical, isn't it? Um, Edouard Mendy, lad behind me, prior to kickoff, said, you know, it'll be hard for us to score against Mendy. You know, he's really good, he's class. And I'm like, yeah. I agree. I, th I think Edouard Mendy is one of the best keepers in the league. Um, but he has a shocker there, doesn't he? Absolute howler. From a Chelsea perspective, that is shocking. That is really bad. From a Leeds point of view, it's amazing and it's so, so funny. Um, I think Brendan Aronson's press is just unbelievable anyway. He's an absolute workhorse. We have got a diamond there. Like, what a player he is. Like, seriously. He had that Chelsea midfield on smoke. Like they, they just couldn't deal with him. Conor Gallagher could not cope with him in that first half. I thought he had a shocker, if I'm honest. I thought Chelsea were just off in general today. 
Um, but I think we made them be even worse. You know, Koulibaly, yeah, he ends up getting himself sent off, but I, I thought he was average. I just thought he just didn't look great. Um, it's not often that a team scores three past Chelsea with Thiago Silva in that back line. You know, we've made him look average as well today. It's just brilliant. I'm just trying to enjoy this moment. Aronson scores and then obviously, what was it, four or five minutes afterwards, Rodrigo scores and Rodrigo scored four goals in three games now, which should be earning himself a Spain call-up, being a, a shoo-in for player at month. You know, I think everyone to a man was just amazing today. There wasn't a player out there who was bad. Harrison ended up getting man of the match, which I can understand. My man of the match was Tyler Adams, if I'm being if I'm being totally honest. I think Tyler Adams, he was just everywhere. I bet I, I can only imagine that to play against him is an absolute nightmare. Niggling at ankles, you know. Always on top here. Good passer of the ball as well. I think his passing's been outstanding. Him and Mark Rocker were brilliant today. The defence, our defensive line, it won't get spoken about a lot, obviously, but our defence was amazing today. The amount of times that Chelsea were getting caught offside was a joke in that second half. Um, and you could just tell that it was frustrating the life out of them, and I loved it. I loved watching Chelsea uncomfortable. Their fans were shocking as well, by the way. Giving it big and for first 15 to 20 minutes, and then once we scored, he didn't hear a peep out of them. Won't get him behind the team at all. It was shocking. One of the worst set of away fans I've seen at Ellen Road, if I'm honest. Um, I just think in general, there's not going to be much statistical analysis on this, guys. I'm just, I'm just waffling at this point, but I'm just so happy with the start of the season the point at Southampton doesn't look too bad now obviously City have just drawn away at Newcastle 3-3 that looked like a belter of a game so you know we're sitting third in the league at the minute third even if Liverpool beat Man U tomorrow we'll still be third third in the league I just it just don't feel real it just really doesn't feel real that this has even happened it's probably the best result we've had since gaining promotion, in my opinion. Um, and it, like I, I, I was saying to my uncle when I was walking back to the car, it wasn't the fact that we beat them 3-0. It was the fact that we actually deserved it and we absolutely tore them a new one. Like, And I'm not even just saying this to make it sound better than what it was. If you watch that game today, if you were at the game today, you'll know that we battered them. And we did. And for Thomas Tuchel to come out with those comments that they gifted us two presents, their first goal, yeah, you could argue that that was gifted to us, but then you could also argue that it was just immense pressing from Brendan Aronson that put him under that amount of pressure. Big gracious in defeat, mate, Mike. One, you shouldn't have even been on the touchline. That was a joke as well. You know, if a player gets a red card, like Koulibaly got sent off, he'll miss the next game now. Tuchel and Conte last week both got red cards and they were both in their respective dugouts this weekend. I just think it's an absolute joke, to be honest. Um, but I'm glad he was there, actually, just so he could witness the amazing football that Leeds United put on display today. And like I said, look, I'm not getting ahead of myself. Yeah, I'm saying you're know, third in the league and get your passports ready. Obviously, it's all in jest. It's not serious. But look, we're not going to go invincible. Right? Let's just be honest. We're going to lose a game at some point. But I think if we can keep to a similar standard to that today, I'll be happy. And, you know, there's a mad stat in there that I've seen where if you get eight points in your first four or five games, your chance of staying up is like 90 odd percent. We're already on seven points now. I, I just think we're going to have a much better season. I think there's going to be some lows. Like, there is going to be some beatings this season. But then there's going to be games like that today where 
we blow teams away. Whether they're at the top of the league or the bottom of the league, mid-table, there's going to be teams that we blow away. Um, I think Marsh deserves a lot of credit. The Wolves game, he deserves credit. Southampton game, it was his poor decision-making that cost us that game. But today, I think even the subs, he timed them perfectly. Perfectly. And there were the right subs to make as well. I think when we brought Forshaw on for Mark Rocker, you could tell that Mark Rocker was flagging a little bit in the midfield. He noticed that, he addressed it. He brings on Adam Forshaw, who I think was really good as well when he came on. You know, we got to see Sinistera in the flesh, thought he looked good as well. And at one point, we are just taking the mick out of them, if I'm honest. And I felt more comfortable in the ground watching that game than what I did the Wolves game. It was just, I must admit, at, at half time, I was thinking, this second half's either going to be Chelsea reborn <laughs> or we're just going to keep piling the pressure on and we kept piling the pressure on. We get that third goal through Jack Harrison, who deserved a goal. And he deserved his man of the match. But my personal man of the match was Tyler Adams. I thought he was absolutely immense. Not, well, not, this isn't really been negative, but the only thing that I don't want to come of this is for our board to think that we don't need a striker and we don't need a left back. Pascal Strauch is doing really good at left back at the minute, but let's be honest, he's not a left back. There's going to be games against a City or a Liverpool, better teams, um, that he may get exposed, which is why we need to get a proper left back. Yes, Rodrigo scored four goals in three games, but... With all due respect, we don't know how long that's going to last. We don't know if it's going to continue. I just think it would be extremely negligent for us to not bring in a left-back and a striker, but I'm not going to go down that. This isn't a video for moaning. This is a video to be immensely proud of the performance that we put in today. To beat a team like Chelsea in the manner that we did take some doing and... I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon, I can't lie. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, people, honestly. If you've enjoyed this upload, please smash that like button. Please subscribe. I know there's lots of you out there who are watching and not subscribing. We've just beat Chelsea 3-0. Please subscribe. Um, it would really help me out. We're on the road to 2K now. Smash all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below as well, and I will be back for a, um, I might do a player ratings um, tomorrow, um, but I will keep you posted on that. I'm not too sure if, I'm, if I'll have time tomorrow, but I'll keep you posted. There could be an upload, but I'll definitely be getting an article out on the game over the next few days. So yeah, plenty of content as we lead into Brighton next week. So keep it locked at the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.